Hi, my name is Dr. Rinki Kapoor and uh, I'm a dermatologist and I'm the director of the Aesthetic Clinics uh, which uh, has skin and plastic surgery and cosmetic uh, dermatology centers in multiple cities throughout India. So today we will discuss something about allergies. How do we recognize allergies and how do we manage allergies? We just have some uh, uh, outline about how to manage this particular issue. So allergies are something which uh, all of us some point in our life must have gone through and uh, most of the times we do understand that uh, there is something wrong and this seems to be an allergy. But what are the symptoms which tell us that yes, these are allergies and how can we go about treating them or preventing them is what we'll see today. So skin allergies especially are something which are very, very common, which we see almost daily in our practice. And allergies are a specific class of disease where what happens is that the body reacts abnormally to some stimulus. Now that stimulus could be something which is environmental, it could be something which we uh, take inside our body, there could be many reasons for allergies. Okay, So generally allergies are because of some medicine that we might have taken, it could be because of environmental factors like dust, pollen, molds, fungi, you know. Or it could be things that we have ingested, especially food particles or food elements that we have had in our diet. It could also be due to external stimuli like pets, animals. It could be because of uh, plants, flowers, so many other things, you know. It could be because of materials like rubber, plastic, artificial jewelry, anything and everything that is external to the body actually is liable to cause allergies in an individual. And uh, it's not that everybody is allergic to that particular thing. There are specific things to which a particular person might be allergic. So someone might be allergic to dust, somebody might be allergic to pollen, somebody might be allergic to animal dandruff. So these are uh, the different things that can cause allergies. And uh, even you could have things like solar allergy or sun allergy which is called so the moment you go out in the sun, you have allergic reaction, okay? So these are some of the reasons uh, that you get allergies. And allergies need not be just limited to the skin. There are different parts of the body which could react. So the symptoms of allergy goes as follows. Some people have rashes on the skin. They could be in some area of the skin or they could be all over the body. Uh, some people might have coughing, sneezing, they might have running nose, these are also signs of allergy. You can have redness of the eyes, that's a sign of allergy. You can have breathing difficulties, you can have bronchitis, you can have wheezing, you know, where you, where when you breathe you have the sound <laughs> like this, that is called as wheezing, which happens in allergies. You could have uh, severe gastric disturbances, especially if you are allergic to foodstuffs. And in severe cases, you can have difficulty in breathing because of swelling in the mouth, in the tongue, in the respiratory passage. And people could die because of severe reactions, which is called as anaphylaxis, which is the most severe form of allergies which can happen. So these are some of the symptoms that you determine. And depending upon the cause, the treatment lies therein. So suppose if you see uh, these stimuli which are there, generally you are able to find out what is the particular thing that has given rise to the allergy, whether it's a food that you've eaten. Typically if you eat something, the allergic reaction starts within half an hour or one hour of ingestion along with some gastrointestinal disturbances like diarrhea, vomiting, etc. That is generally a food allergy. If it's an environmental allergy, it happens in a particular season. Say for example, when the rain starts or when winter starts, you might have allergy. When there are flowers blooming, you can have pollen allergy, things like that. So there is generally a trigger and you are able to find out what is the trigger for the allergy. Sometimes there are no triggers that you are able to find out. And uh, in such cases, you need the help of your dermatologist or your allergy specialist to figure out what is it that is causing the allergy and then treat yourself accordingly. So generally a dermatologist might advise a blood test wherein you can see a certain level of allergen uh, caused uh, blood cells which are called as eosinophils which are high in the blood 
or you might have high IgE levels which is in immunoglobulin E it's called which arises in allergy. So these are pointers which the doctor can find out that you have an allergy to a specific thing. Then you have tests which determine. So there, are, there is a battery of tests wherein they apply the allergens onto the skin and figure out what is the cause of allergy. So these are some of the different tests which your physicians can advise and determine the reasons. Treatments of allergy are very simple if you know the cause. Right? So if you know the cause, you can uh, eliminate the cause completely and the allergy will be gone uh, again. And if you stimulate the body with the same allergen again, you'll have a problem again. Say for example, you are allergic to some medicine and if you found out or diagnosed that you're allergic say to sulfur or you're allergic to some antibiotic, you repeat the antibiotic again and you'll have a severe reaction. So that's how you prevent allergies to known things. But if you do not know what is the cause of allergy, then it's a tough thing to treat because then you'll have to be treated with anti-allergics you know which reduce itching which reduce redness and uh, symptoms and over a period of time you will have to uh, suppress the allergy to a level that you don't get the allergic reactions again that can only be done by your physician so you need to see your physician for that so these are some of the things there are some latest medicines also that are available for allergies and for severe allergies like anaphylaxis which is like breathing, severe breathing difficulties or um, severe swelling of the uh, nose and the mouth where you find difficulty to breathe. In such cases you have to rush to the hospital and get admitted and uh, your physician might inject you with some steroids and some antihistamines to bring the allergy down otherwise it's a life-threatening allergy. So this is a general background about allergies. See to it that if you know what is the cause of the allergen, try to avoid it as much as possible and uh, that will really, really help. Otherwise, take the help of your dermatologist. Thank you so much.